The rising cost of college tuition is a challenge for students trying to get an education. And education inflation is also impacting schools as state funding continues to drop. Pam Serrano is live with more on how the state's universities are coming up with their own plan to help both schools and students. Pam. Now, Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education Board of Governors has voted to adopt a new tuition policy, and that tuition policy is going to allow individual universities to develop their own tuition plan. Now, all of Pennsylvania's 14 state-run universities have joined this task force, and the goal of that task force is to make college more affordable and more accessible to all of Pennsylvanians, and that could potentially mean more students in Enrolled, good for schools, and for students, it could mean lower costs. Historically, there has been one tuition rate for all of Pennsylvania's 14 state run colleges and universities. That soon may change. Tuition at area state schools, including Slippery Rock, IUP, Cal U, and Clarion, may no longer be one size fits all. They will look at their, at their regions, at their you know, family income. Uh, at the, their student makeup, at the types of programs they offer. Pennsylvania state schools are being given the opportunity by the state system of higher ed to individualize pricing plans for traditional, online, and graduate courses. The state system universities are generally, after community colleges, considered a low-cost alternative to higher ed, but as evident by these mock student profiles provided by the state system of higher education, the costs are often still unattainable. Jack's family, for instance, has an annual income of 36000 After aid, tuition costs are 12 percent of their income. Maria's family earns 62000 but after aid, education costs for her family are 18 percent of their income. Under a new plan, schools would be able to distribute aid more flexibly to students. Students with the greatest need, uh, they may be able to make more uh, you know, financial aid available. Uh, for, for those students. Schools like IUP say they're already doing some of this. IUP offers a discount to local students who attend their Punxsutawney and North Point campuses in order to provide a more affordable entrance into the university. Now, schools have the next several months to submit their plans, and if approved, the Board of Governors would have to pass that, and then it would be enacted by the fall of 2020. And if it goes forward, state aid packages for kids that are usually available in April will instead be available uh, much earlier, and that will give students more time to plan out their expenses. We're live tonight. Pam Serrano, KDK News.